Holiday 10 Best takes a journey to the coolest, the hippest, the biggest and the most exciting cities around the world. We've got shopping, socialising, sightseeing, history, culture and, of course, the odd beach or two. So, what is it that makes a city truly great? Let's face it, we spent most of our time trying to get away from them. They're busy, they're crowded, they aren't exactly relaxing. So, how does Barcelona manage to get it so right? I love Barcelona. I've been here about a dozen times. And what keeps bringing me back? Well, it's the arts, the great buildings, fantastic shopping, and just the general laid-back attitude to life. It's my favourite city, and I'm going to show you my recipe for the perfect day here. Now, you don't want to start your day too early because it's going to be a long one. But when you do manage to drag yourself out of bed, the only way to kick things off here is with a nice, big, fat, creamy cup of hot chocolate and some lovely sugary churros. First stop on my sightseeing tour, La Sagrada Familia. Barcelona likes to think of itself as such an individual city, and for me, the Sagrada Familia really sums that up. People always think that a siesta is about sleeping. Not true. In Barcelona, it means a nice long lunch, and that means it's time for tapas. What I love about tapas is the way you can just try a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And if you really want to find out what it's all about, get Juan Carlos, who's the owner of the oldest tapas bar in Barcelona, just to serve you up a selection. Oh. No city break is complete without a spot of serious shopping. Most first-timers will end up on the Ramblas, famous for its silly statues and being ridiculously crowded. I'm a northern girl and I love my markets and this is the best one I've found anywhere in the world. Now there's probably more tourists here than there are locals, but that's because of two reasons. This fantastic bar, Pinocchio's bar, and the amazing array of things that you can buy here. Well worth a visit. <laughs> now one thing that will probably surprise you about Barcelona is that it's got beaches, five of them. Now they're not the best you're going to find on the Med, but it's one of the things that makes this place so special. There are two things to remember when you're heading out for the night here. One, don't even think about coming out early. Nobody has dinner before nine. And two, pace yourself. It's going to be a long night. The way to approach a night out in Barcelona is to take a drink here, a nibble of tapas there, and then repeat until you get tired or the sun comes up. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you. 